Hello everyone, and good news keeps on coming. Yep, you heard it right. SpaceX will likely test Starship in not too distant future. Could happen way before Easter. I know, I know, I said something similar last year before Elon Musk unveiled Starship to the world. Elon Musk has tended to exaggerate things from time to time. However, this time we don't need to worry about what Elon Musk does. We can see it for ourselves on a daily basis. Thanks to a plethora of people such as Boca Chica Maria, Lab Padre, Boca Chica Gal, who continue to update us on what is happening at the SpaceX facility at Boca Chica. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Work on Starship SN1 is nearing completion, at least from the latest tweets by Elon Musk, indicating SpaceX will probably test Starship around March 20th weekend, perhaps. All depends on permissions from FAA and FCA. The excitement is palpable. In his latest tweets, Elon Musk tweeted a glimpse into Boca Chica facility, which it seems is working at full capacity, where two starships are being built, SN1 and SN2, side by side. The nose cones of Starship SN1 are nearly complete, with most of the work done. Elon Musk hopes he can test starships in early March. SpaceX teams have been working around the clock with little over a month to build a first full-scale flight-worthy Starship prototype, a process that only began after two test tanks were fabricated, assembled and pressurized until they burst on January 10th and January 28th. The testing from these two experiments gave SpaceX enough data to adjust final design of fuel tanks, one of the most crucial components of Starship. The data also confirmed SpaceX could, in theory, complete a man-rated Starship relatively soon, even this year. As work on Starship continues and the SN1 Starship will be tested extensively to ensure indeed design is flight worthy. It is not clear if SN1 will be used for orbital flight just yet, however SpaceX did seek permission from FAA and FCA for suborbital flight tests starting March 16th to September 16, 2020, giving SpaceX wide window to test the Starship. It is quite possible, and this is my guess, SpaceX will perhaps on purpose try to test SN1 to the point of destruction, to make sure design is truly flight ready and there is little room for mistakes. NASA has really strict rules on vehicles it certifies for manned missions, and SpaceX will try to prove to NASA that Starship is ready and willing to replace SLS or Space Launch System as the main vehicle of choice for future NASA manned missions to the Moon and beyond. The amazing speed and progress at which SpaceX team will almost complete a Starship SN1 is amazing. Work on Starship SN1 started in late January. We're into third week of February and the Starship SN1 business half is all but done. Raptor engine section, a liquid oxygen tank, a methane tank and all associated tank domes and plumbing is likely just a single big stacking and welding event away from being structurally complete. The upper section of the prototype, Starship's curved nose cone, and few less critical components will be completed just as fast by late February. No doubt SpaceX can at this rate, and with new SpaceX staff SpaceX has hired recently, produce at least one Starship per month, or 12 Starships at this facility at Boca Chica alone. and Boca Chica facility will expand. It will expand to a large manufacturing base by mid-2020. So large, current facility will be dwarfed by what SpaceX plans to build on this location. SpaceX has effectively built a sustainable manufacturing base at Boca Chica and plans to expand it to build at least two starships per month towards the end of this year. If SpaceX, and I've seen and shared SpaceX plans with you, expands to encompass the entire area, SpaceX, without any doubt, be able to churn out Starships faster than Boeing churns out B737 MAX. Question now remains, when can we expect first Starship SN1 static test? My educated guess is that SpaceX will install Starship SN1 three Raptor engines in early March and perform a live static fire test within days from full integration of Raptor rocket engines. That being said, SpaceX won't fly Starship before March 16th. 
In fact, it is very likely the weekend of March 21st will be the most likely 150 meter flight test, followed soon by first suborbital test, perhaps 3000 to 5000 meter test. But before any test can be performed, a SpaceX Starship program is likely about to enter a period of ambitious rapid fire testing. Stay tuned people, exciting stuff. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description.